Hey guys, so today Gage and I are going to the vet. I need him to get a rabies shot in order for me to travel with him. And a lot of people have problems with this, especially with dogs like Gage. For those of you that don't know my dog Gage, he is very antisocial. He's a little bit nervy sometimes. So <clears throat> I need to be um, in control of him at the vet in order to ensure the procedure goes off without a hitch. A lot of people obsess about this. They get so worried, medicate, they try to give their dog sleeping pills and you know use different tools. And I don't use anything. And I've taken the most nasty, aggressive dogs, including Gage's daddy, to the, uh, to the vet. And I've never had a problem. Um, and the reason why is because I take responsibility for the animal and I only work with a vet that understands that I'm in control and I take that responsibility. I put the muzzle on the dog. I put a slip lead or sometimes I'll just attach um, a regular leash to the chain collar. I'll take the dog to the vet. I will personally hold the dog so that I keep the vet safe and everybody else safe. The vet will give the in injection to the dog and, and that'll be it. Afterwards, maybe I'll do a little desensitization. I'll give him some food, whatever. But I don't go frequently to the vet. It's a very infrequent thing, so it's not a concern or a problem, really, even when I have a very antisocial dog. And believe me, I've taken some real nasty ones to the vet. It's, it's never a problem because I take responsibility. Sit. No, what it is is he had one on file, but for whatever reason, that one got canceled or something. Um, that's what happened. Break. Okay. Down. In which case, would we be able to take this? He's going to turn, he's going to turn, try to turn back and get this. Enough. Are you sure? Oh, yeah. I got it. Don't worry. Enough. Enough. Good boy. That's nice. Very good. That's good. Oh. Ah. Enough. Oh, no. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, so now vaccine's complete. We try to make some positive here. We give him some food. He's never going to love the process. But we can make it end on a positive note now. Good boy. Again, for these types of things, I always recommend you hold the dog. You know your dog best. He's going to be the most comfortable with you holding your dog. He's probably not going to love the process, but we've done many aggressive dogs and we don't do that with all of them, and we are responsible for them. It's our job to make sure nobody gets scared, gets hurt, gets anything. So this is why you need to take responsibility. If you have a dog who's a bit antisocial, like Gage is, take full responsibility for the dog. It's good for him, and it's good for everybody else. Down. All right, guys, so you've seen how I did it. Um, you know, very simple, held the dog. He wasn't happy about it, and he never is going to be. I mean, I suppose if I worked regularly on this, I could probably improve his um, his emotion about being at the vet. But again, I'm, I'm not there frequently enough. Like, I go there maybe like once a year, once every other year. It's not a problem. I, In fact, I wouldn't even be going unless other than the fact that, uh, you know, we're traveling. Um, you know, and then if, if something significant procedurally needs to be done, the dog is going to get put under and, and the same thing. When I come in, I'm going to have the dog muzzled. I'm going to hold the dog while they give him the sedative and, and problems going to be solved. So you just, I, I recommend everybody just take responsibility for your dog and work with a vet that's willing, you know, that, Hey, can, does someone need to hold him? I'm like, yeah, I'll hold him. Who, who better to hold him than me? Right. And, and this is where I think a lot of people go wrong is, listen, if I had a stranger try and hold on to him, it would be bad. It would be bad. It would be way worse than, than what it normally is for him, which is just a little brief blip of stress and then and then onwards and upwards. Right. So I hope this helped you guys. Check us out. Shieldk9.ca for all your training needs.